ओके इन लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट लेजर पोस्टिंग लेजर लो पोस्ट शेयर लंडे फर्स्ट जर्नल एंट्री इज रिक्वायर्ड इन आर लास्ट एग्जांपल वी एंडेड विथ परचेज अकाउंट डेटा टू क्रेडिटर्स अकाउंट सो आई हैव टू ओपन परचेज अकाउंट देन क्रेडिटर्स अकाउंट इन परचेज अकाउंट टू क्रेडिटर्स दी क्रेडिटर्स अकाउंट बाय परचेजेस let me take one more example salary paid 20 lakhs this is the transaction tell me journal entry salary account debtor to cash account ट्वेंटी लैक्स ट्वेंटी लैक्स दिस्ज का जर्नल एंट्री सो फ्रम दिस् वी हेव टू पोस्ट इट इन आर लेजर सो इन लेजर बुक ई हेव टू ओपन सैलरी अकोट एंड देन कैश अकोट सैलरी अकोट नैक्स्ट वन इज cash account one more thing i have to say here account is in t form t shape and we have to write dr in debit side cr in credit side okay then uh salary to cash entry right so in salary account to cash One T lakhs in cash account by salary one T lakhs. This is called ledger posting. And the entries are in the journal a journal book. Lo on entries record chart sum. And entries are called journal entries. In ledger, ledger these are in the accounts opening chart sum. Journal la one one T account entries ni posting chart sum. so the process of uh, posting in ledger begins after journal entries recorded in journal book journal lo oka sari entry record chesin tarvata from journal will go to a ledger in ledger will open accounts this is called ledger account this process is called posting in other words we can call it as ledger posting okay one more thing i have to say here the process of recording transaction in journal is called journalizing the process of transferring accounts amounts to the i mean and the process of uh, uh, trans uh, what we call the process of uh, opening accounts and transferring amounts from the journal to the ledger is called posting summary is journalizing is re, uh, related to the journal posting is related to the ledger same time recording is uh, related to the journal posting is related to the ledger so recording journal posting ledger okay done give me a minute please please note this example Thank <laughs> you. 
what is showing exactly that is showing ओके एंट्री फॉर सैलरी इज सैलरी टू कैश अकाउंट इन लेजर आई हैव टू ओपन सैलरी अकाउंट एंड देन टू कैश सो सैलरी टू कैश हाउ मच 20 लाख 20 लाख दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड लेजर पोस्टिंग ओके देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्रायल बैलेंस व्हाट इज दैट ट्रायल बैलेंस ट्रायल बैलेंस रेंट सर रेंटे टोटल डेबिट्स टोटल क्रेडिट्स समरेज चेसो को प्लेस लो रास्ता रेंटे फॉर एग्जांपल फर्स्ट एंट्री लो डेटास टू सेल्स के दा इकड़ा डेटास ट्वेंटी लैक्स सेल्स ट्वेंटी लैक्स नैक्स्ट पर्चेजेस डेबिट कदा ट्वेंटी लैक्स सेल सारी क्या कदा क्या क्रेडिट ट्वेंटी लैक्स इला सिंगि स्टेट टोटल डेबिट टोटल क्रेडिट रास्ता आब्विस्ट टोटल ईक्वल अंदेक्वल डेबिट इक क्रेडिट वस्तना काबटे हड्रेड पर्सेंट मैच ईक्वल अ सो ट्रयल बस एंटर अंत समरी आफ टोटल डेबिट अंड टोटल क्रेडिट अट वन प्लेस एनक सर अंत जस्ट फर् चकिंग अर्थमेटिकल ऐक्युरी अर्थमेटिकल ऐक्युरी अभी मैथमेटिकल क्या अर्थमेटिकल ऐक्युरी अंत इन मिस्टेक्स उ फर् एग्जापल ट्वेंटी की टू राशि एम टी अव सो फर् चकिंग अर्थमेटिकल ऐक्युरी विल प्रिपेर ट्रयल बस ट्रयल बस अंत अकोट का जस्ट This is a like a statement. We are just showing all debits and all credits at one place. That is called trial balance. What is net result of trial balance? Ante nothing, sir. Hindi ko sir ante this is just a statement showing debits and credits for checking arithmetical accuracy. The objective of trial balance is just for checking arithmetical accuracy. No need of any calculation of profit or loss. Something, something, something. Just for the total objective of trial balance is to checking arithmetical accuracy. That's it. There is no concept of assets, liabilities, profit, loss, expense, income, all those nonsense. Just to check arithmetical accuracy. That's it. Okay. That is trial balance. Then profit and the last account. Profit and a loss account. This is an account. So account is in T form, D or C or account lo debit side, profit and loss account lo expenses and losses sunte na na. Credit side incomes and gains sunte. Ko na example se se sunte salaries, expense ke da, rent. इट वाइप इंट्रस्ट इनकम रेट इनकम सो इला प्राफिट अं लास् अकोट डेबिट सैड एक्सपे अंड लास्ट क्रेडिट सैड इनकम अंड गई दैट रिजल्ट सर अंत एदर प्राफिट आर् लास्ो एम सी के अड़कोच ना नैट रिजल्ट आफ प्राफिट अं लास् अकोट इज नैट प्राफिट आर् नैट लास् ओके वन मोर थिंग इज बैलेंस शीट यू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बैलेंस शीट राइट 
left side liabilities, right side assets. Liabilities low, payment like a loan, creditors, asset side, land, buildings, plant and machine, all these assets. There is, and one more thing, balance should always tallies. There is no balancing figure in balance sheet. In balance sheet, total of the assets is always equals to total of the liabilities. That's why we have an equation. That is, assets is equals to liabilities. Okay, assets is equals to liabilities. That is called balance sheet equation. Assets is equals to liabilities. Okay. Yes, one more concept is trading account. Important one. Note this performer first, then I will explain. Two opening stock, two purchases, plus purchase returns, two wages, two carries inward, two freight inward, buy sales, less return inwards by closing stock by gross profit sorry by gross loss left side balancing figure is gross profit right side balancing figure is gross loss that is trading account important exam point will allow to go to opening stock is sir purchases is sir Purchase returns, wages, carriage inward, right inward, sales, closing stock returns. We have to find out gross profit or gross loss. Initially, just we have to open trading account, then substitute all the figures in trading account in proper places, then we will get a profit or loss. That is gross, not net. Gross profit or gross loss. Okay? That is trading account. So note this chart, trading account, results account, so I have to write DR and CR, particulars, amount, again same credit side, particulars, amount, two opening stock, two purchases, less written outwards, nothing but purchase returns, two wages, two carriers inward, two freight inward, two gross profit, other side, by sales, by return inwards, by closing stock, by gross loss. Okay? Care is inward. Heading but Kony is a slide, not just on the place. Okay, see the slide. It is cost of carriage incurred by supplier for receiving goods or raw materials from the suppliers. Carriage inward is always borne by supplier. Accounting treatment for carriage inward is to add it to the cost of purchase of the product. Cost of carriage is incurred by supplier for receiving goods. Are from the suppliers. 
సింపుల్ గా చెప్పాలంటే ఇప్పుడు స్పెషల్ షిప్ లో గూడ్స్ వచ్చేటప్పుడు కన్సర్న్ కస్టమ్ చార్జెస్ లాంటివి పే చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ క్యారియర్ ఇన్ వర్డ్స్ ఎవరు పే చేయాల్సి అంటే సప్లయర్ పే చేయాలి ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ చేయడానికి అదే వాడు చెప్తున్నాడు అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ అకౌంట్స్ దీన్ని యూజ్ ఏంటంటే వీ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ టు కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ పర్చేసింగ్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ క్యారేజ్ ఇన్ వర్డ్ నెక్స్ట్ క్యారేజ్ అవుట్ వర్డ్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ ఫ్రైట్ అవుట్ వర్డ్ ఫ్రైట్ అవుట్ వర్డ్ మే బీ బోర్న్ బై సప్లయర్ ఆర్ బయ్యర్ క్యారేజ్ ఇన్ వర్డ్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ సప్లయర్ అవుట్ వర్డ్ మే బీ సప్లయర్ or by buyer depending upon their agreement done when seller records carry as output it is recorded as indirect cost that is called selling and administration overheads accounting classification physical accounts are three types financial accounting cost accounting management accounting what is that financial accounting cost accounting management accounting ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ నార్మల్ అకౌంటింగ్ అంటే మనం చదువుకునే జర్నల్ లెడ్జర్ ట్రయల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ బ్యాలెన్స్ షీట్ ప్రాఫిట్ అండ్ లాస్ అకౌంట్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంట్ నథింగ్ బట్ అకౌంటింగ్ మనం చేసేదంతా ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ నాట్ కాస్ట్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకౌంటింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ కాస్ట్ అకౌంటింగ్ దెన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకౌంటింగ్ సీ ద ఫస్ట్ డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంట్ ఆల్రెడీ వీ డిస్కస్డ్ ఇన్ సమ్వేర్ ఎల్స్ వేర్ Yeah, same definition is there also. Recording, classifying, summarizing. See? Yes. Certified public accountants. Recording, classifying, summarizing the significant one. Same, same, same definition is here also. Next, cost accounting. Cost accounting definition over each other and say CIMA. Chartered Institute of Management Accountant, CIMA. What do you mean? Cost accountancy is defined as application of costing and cost accounting principles, methods and techniques to the science, art and practice of cost control and ascertainment of profitability as well as presentation of information for the purpose of managerial decision making. This is called cost accounting. I repeat, what I'm saying is that the costing and cost accounting principles, methods and techniques are used to cost and control, profit and ascertain, information and present, and at the same time, management decision making help us that accounting is called cost accounting. Okay? First, management accounting. is concerned with use of financial and cost accounting information so this is this use as financial accounting and cost accounting everyx are ante to manage us within the organization to provide them with the basis in making informed business decision that allow them to the better equipped in their management and control their functions simple ga cheppalante Management accounting will use the help of the financial accounting and cost accounting. In the case of information to the managers within the organization to provide a basis in making informal decisions, business decision that would allow them to be the better equipped in their management and control function. Management and control say that the financial accounting and cost accounting will use just to be the accounting. This is called management accounting. The next important concept is basis of accounting. Actually, there is three, three basis of accounting. One more is there. Yes. Cash basis, accrual basis, hybrid or mixed basis. Cash basis and entities are in day. Entries record chase it up to do. యాక్చువల్ రిసీట్ ఆర్ యాక్చువల్ పేమెంట్ జరిగింది నేను రికార్డ్ చేస్తాను ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ గూడ్స్ పర్చేజ్ చేసాం పేమెంట్ చేయలేదు అంటే నేను రికార్డ్ చేయను బికాస్ యాక్చువల్ పేమెంట్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఎడ్ డన్ గూడ్స్ సేల్ చేశాను యాక్చువల్ రిసీట్ ఇంకా జరగలేదు ఐ డోంట్ రికార్డ్ బికాస్ బికాస్ 
actual receipt is not yet done so actual receipts and actual payments rendu jarigitene that is called cash basis otherwise i don't record in my books of accounts unless and until actual receipt or payment is done but in accrual basis concept is different for period in which they accrue accrue ante a year a year kaithe a year kaithe a concern transaction sambandhinchindo a year lo manam record chestam irrespective of actual receipt or payment is done artham avutunda for example goods sale chesam cash avale that is called credit sale right so a transaction ni record chestana transaction ni kuda enduku record chestana ante this is accrual basis cash is sale record chestana ani chepte ganaka cash basis in fact this basis is not suggestible in practical life all business entities are following accrual basis only third one is hybrid or mixed basis incomes on cash basis expenses on accrual basis they'll record incomes on cash basis that means that means they'll record incomes all incomes on cash basis they'll record all expenses on accrual basis this this basis is called hybrid or mixed basis important concept i will give you the time please record this chart basis of accounting cash basis accrual basis and then hybrid or mixed basis then first record cash basis then accrual last hybrid or fixed basis okay then next one is transaction i told you in second or third video transactions are two types cash transaction credit transaction i told you sales are two types cash sales credit sales i told you purchases are two types cash purchases credit purchases now tell me what is cash sales that means sale is happened and cash is received from the customer that is called cash sales what is credit sales then sale is occurred and amount is not received from customer he will pay in future he is called a debtor what is cash purchase cash purchase is purchases made from supplier and cash paid to supplier that is called cash purchases next one is credit purchases purchases made and amount is not paid to the supplier then he is called our creditor because that is my liability i have to pay in future okay that is called credit purchase in debtor sales will sorry in sales debtors will come in purchases creditors will come into the picture next one is profit profit means excess of revenue income over expense is called profit simple ga cheppalante revenue minus expense inka simple cheppalante income minus expense income is nothing but revenue both are same synonyms ante revenue minus income is equals to sorry revenue minus expense is equals to profit okay excess of revenue income over expense is called profit 
done note this example i mean note this definition of profit previously asked mcq excess of terminology is important excess of revenue over expense excess of revenue income over expense or revenue whatever is okay excess of revenue income over expense is called profit can you guess the definition of loss excess of expense over income is called loss that means expense minus income is equal to loss definition of profit income minus expense loss expense minus income is equal to loss please note this uh, definition last definition excess of expense over income is called loss okay next definition is asset asset definition means is a resource which owned by the business for earning future profits for example i'll take this classroom e classroom ante a building a building in the future la use chesukochcha leda సింపుల్ ఈ బ్యాచ్లో మీరు కూర్చున్నారు క్లాసెస్ వింటున్నారు ఎగ్జామ్స్ అయిపోతే మీరు వెళ్ళిపోతారు మీ జూనియర్స్ వచ్చి కూర్చుంటారు స్టూడెంట్స్ మారుతున్నారు కానీ క్లాస్ బిల్డింగ్ సేమ్ ఉంది సో ఐఆమ్ యూజింగ్ సేమ్ బిల్డింగ్ ఫర్ నెక్స్ట్ 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 స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆల్సో నెక్స్ట్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆల్సో ఐ విల్ యూజ్ ద సేమ్ బిల్డింగ్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఐఆమ్ యూజింగ్ సేమ్ ఎ సెట్ ఫర్ ఫ్యూచర్ ప్రాఫిట్స్ ఆల్సో let me take another example benches benches said there na i am using same benches for your juniors also with the same benches i will generate future profits so resource which generates future profit is called asset for example management is paying salary to me for this month only so that, that is not an asset in future they have to pay me again for for, for in the future for the for those months also for, but for this building they will generate revenue by using same asset let me take this this uh, laptop or a table they will generate future profit with the same asset let me take camera with the same camera they will use for your juniors also so camera is asset so definition of asset is resource owned by business entity with the purpose of using for generating future profit future of profit generate cheyani use chese danni assets and terms okay and one more thing i have to say assets are two types tangible asset intangible asset what are the two items tangible asset intangible asset tangible asset ante enti sir ante screen me chundi oka sari look at your screen tangible asset which have which have some physical existence a assets aithe physical existence untayo and which can be seen touch and felt మనం వాటిని చూడగలం టచ్ చేయగలం వాటిని ఫీల్ అవ్వగలం అలాంటి అసెట్ని టాంజిబుల్ అసెట్ అంటారు సింపుల్గా చెప్పాలి విచ్ హ్యావ్ ఫిజికల్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ టాంజిబుల్ అసెట్ ఓకే ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ప్లాంట్ అండ్ మిషనరీ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఒక మిషన్ ఉంది మనం చూడగలమా నాకు ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఉందా ఫిజికల్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ ఉందా లేదా చూడగలం టచ్ చేయగలం దాన్ని ఫీల్ అవ్వగలం సో దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ టాంజిబుల్ అసెట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఒక బిల్డింగ్ ఉంది ఒక బిల్డింగ్ చూడగలమా టచ్ చేయగలమా ఫీల్ అవ్వగలం 
so that is called tangible asset laptop tangible asset book vehicle all these are tangible asset then what about intangible asset exactly opposite to tangible asset that means there is no physical existence that means we cannot see touch and felt tangible assets have physical existence intangible assets are non physical existence in next class i will discuss a detailed manner for intangible asset all the best